So we're coming towards the end. Uh, logical mathematical intelligence. We need to ask ourselves, how can I objectively and critically analyze information and become more data wise? Um, how is it that I can use my higher order thinking skills? Um, and critical thinking is really important and it really helps in times like this when you have VUCA times, uh, unprecedented um, unimaginable times, what do you do? What type of um, intelligences do you tap into to make sense of what it is that we have to do? Um, when I look at it in the uh, reflection of habits, well, I think that this lockdown has helped us all reprioritize our goals. Um, habit number three, putting first things first. Um, also evaluating choices that we were making. Were they the right choices for us? Do we need to look uh, revisit them? Do we need to um, reshape them and rewrite them? Um, when we look at Sharp and the Saw, um, I think as educators, um, for all from the education fraternity, Bloom's taxonomy, and we always use that as a reference, right? It's about understanding. Um, it's not about recall anymore. Content doesn't matter. It's really about those transferable skills. How is it that we can apply those skills? And now we're living in an age of information where information is like always bombarding us. It's like the air that we breathe and we need to really monitor what type of information comes into our psyche and settles into our bodies. Um, is it good for us? Is it true? Is it fake news? Um, do I let this, you know, um, uh, you know, psych me out? Um, is it from a valid resource? Where is the research to back this up? Uh, how credible is the source in which it's coming from? And I think that this is one of the worst things about this age of um, technology information that we live in, that there is so much negative or false news or hateful news that is circulating. And we need to be able to evaluate it uh, and analyze it with critical thinking skills. So again, going back to Bloom's taxonomy, how is it that we can synthesize and create something uh, new with the information that we have? So information is there in abundance, but it's more about what is it that we do with this information that is really, really important and how valid, how sound is this information? So for example, this um, you know entire presentation, I started out with the yin and yang, and it's really about synthesizing the habits and the multiple intelligences and how we can actually um, harness the two to make it work for us and how we can build our spectrum of human potential with it. So in logical mathematical, we can also develop our mental sharpness. Um, we can do puzzles, chess, strategy games, um, mystery games, riddles, anal uh, uh, um, uh, analogies, uh, coding. I think when we're working professionally, it's very important to be data driven. Um, it's very important to back your things up with research, um, like I had shown in my book called Brain uh, ABCs of Brain Compatible Learning. And also just discover different algorithms and formulas that work for you. After all, we learn that in uh, our logical mathematical space. These are some apps that were curated. Um, that maybe we can try. There's a lot of um, cognitive impairment uh, and um, you know they, they talk about being more mindful, um, memory loss is there. And those of us who have elderly relatives, I mean, it's, it's very frightening, it's very sad to see them you know, um, uh, have that cognitive impairment. Uh, and if we wanna sort of protect, if we're feeling forgetful at our age, what's gonna happen when we get older? So how do we keep our mental skills more sharp? You know, so we can you know, do those little brain teasers, we can do these different um, type of um, logical mathematical exercises and keep our brains, um, minds really sharp and strong. So these are some more examples um, of brain teasers. Those of you who want to solve mysteries, um, there you go. I personally did terrible uh, in a mystery room. I had gone with my friends and I realized that uh, solving mysteries is not my strength at all. If anyone wants to visit um, 
you know, my website for any other videos that I have, um, articles that I have. Um, you know, I have the entire um, gamut of multiple intelligence videos and the entire A to Z um, brain compatible learning videos on my website. I mean, they're also on YouTube as well, but that's kind of an easy uh, way to, um, you know, access them. So if anybody wants to find out a little bit more about brain compatible learning and multiple intelligence, they're welcome to visit the site.